Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support video. This is Shruti from Informatica GCS. Through this video, we will discuss about user dashboard in Exxon Proton. So before proceeding further, let's see the agenda for today's video. So in this video, we will discuss first about the need of user dashboard. Then we will see how to enable user dashboard in Exxon. Further, we will see what all information we can get through the user dashboard. So let's start with our first topic that is the need of user dashboard. So in Exxon, we have several user specific information. Prior to 6.0, if user want to see all this information, he has to navigate from one tab to another in Exxon UI to get all the information which is specific to him only. Like what all workflow actions are pending on him, what is the score of DQ rules that has been created by him, or to access his save search, etc. Now, through dashboard, these all information has been collected and organized at the same place. So user has not to navigate at different places from one tab to another tab. And just by going to his dashboard, he can see all information which is specific to him. So in that way, he can a lot of time has been saved and also it enhance the user's experience with searching the Exxon. So now let's see how to enable user dashboard in Exxon. Let's go to the Exxon UI. So this is the welcome page for our Exxon UI and if we want to enable the dashboard for our Exxon instance we have to go to admin panel. Thereafter we have to select customize and configure and thereafter configure Exxon. And then from the drop down we have to select this option dashboard. Now navigate to the edit mode. We just have to check this option enable my dashboard and then save it. Thereafter we need to clear the cache from the Exxon server side and then to restart HTTPD and memcached servers. So starting from Exxon auto, we have a script file doing all these operations for us. So let's move to the Exxon server. So this is our Exxon server. And currently I am under the location Exxon home Exxon app. So at this location, we have a script file called parensync. We can just execute this file and this script file will clear the cache and will restart the memcache and HTTPD service for us. So now we just have to go back to the Exxon UI and we have to refresh the page. Thereafter, if we will go back again to the UI and will log in here. We can see a additional tab my dashboard here so before enabling the dashboard we can only see this particular welcome home page but after enabling the dashboard we can see a new tab my dashboard so if we will just click on here under the my dashboard we can see that there are several tabs showing us different information which is specific to this particular user john and so let's select all the information tabs so this tab will particularly show us what all change requests has been raised by this particular user john admin so this particular user has currently raised only one change request and that information has been showing here thereafter it will show you if you will just navigate to contributing then it will show you what for what all change request this particular user john admin is a stakeholder and is contributing in that particular change request. thereafter the second tab is of about saved search so if this if this particular user has saved any search then that will be displayed here and under the recent searches it will show what all searches as this user access recently and the most viewed it will just show among all the saved searches what are the what all are those saved searches that has been viewed mostly thereafter 
the third tab is of pending tasks if you have if this particular user john admin has created any workflow and has raised a cr and has started that cr then it will show if there is any task pending on john admin so whatever tasks are pending on john admin that will get displayed here thereafter the again the next step is roles not accepted so whatever roles has been assigned to this particular user john admin you can just see all those roles here and what all roles are accepted and what are not accepted that all are being displayed here if you will just click on here glossary system or any of the uh, facet roles then it will redirect you to the john admins account and it will show you what all responsibilities that particular user has thereafter the data quality if you have created a dq rule for any such object in which john admin is being defined as a stakeholder then you can see that particular dq rules is scorecard there are that particular dq report here thereafter it will show in how many objects you are the or this particular user john admin is the stakeholder so if he is a stakeholder then it will be represented as this blue bar and if he is the owner of that object too then it will be represented as a yellow bar thereafter from here we can see the team structure for this particular user john admin and then the last tab is regarding objects so whatever recent activities this particular user has done all these we can track it from here and this is the object if this particular user is following any object and that all information being displayed here so currently in this instance we don't have any information regarding the saved searches or pending tasks so no any task is pending on john admin that's why it is not showing any information here similarly no any search has been saved by john admin so that site has not been displayed here but whatever information is present there already regarding this user that has been displayed here and most of the options that are being displayed here are clickable that is if you will just click on it it will redirect you to the actual facet from where this all information has been captured and even if i will just click on data quality tab then it will redirect us to the unison search page and from there we can see what all search filter has been applied for this particular information to fetch as you can see it has applied a filter including john admin as a user and all in data quality with measured equal to yes means all those rules where john admin is a stakeholder and that has a report going back to our user dashboard so all these informations are present in our dashboard page further if you want to change your landing page you can just change it from here by clicking on this setting icon so currently by default if you land or if you open this instance it will show you the welcome screen if you want to see your dashboard as your home screen you can just select it so this is all regarding the enablement of user dashboard and what all information we can get from the dashboard so if you have any queries regarding this issue or if you have any suggestions or feedback for this video please contact us using these links thank you for watching the video